Legends away, so dubs on the run No turtle is safe when he's on the hunt Witness the sack, just give it a rub Cause who knows what you'll find Toy hunting with dub Hello friends, welcome to a Friday hunt video with hashtag beat up fit. Don't forget to use hashtag beat up fit all month long. Leave one positive thing you've done for your wellness, mental, emotional, physical, or otherwise in the comments below. Also, please remember to enter the 5,000 subscriber giveaway for week two. If you don't know how to do it, go back and watch Wednesday's hunt video, the last video I posted. You'll learn how to do it. And uh, I wanna give uh, more stuff away. And please use the Big Bad Toy Store link below. If you haven't, just click it, browse it. It helps the channel out tremendously. Appreciate all of that. Now, it is a, uh, what? Well, it's Tuesday morning still. It is actually three minutes after I ended the Wednesday hunt video last week. That car just wants to turn out in front of me and that's no good. And, and I'm in that parking lot going two. So that's kind of troublesome. Um, I just ended the Wednesday hunt video. We went to Walmart, we looked for Shredder. Couldn't find it. The hunt never stops, does it? The hunt always continues, and we're gonna continue on the hunt for Shredder. Today, we're gonna go to another Walmart, and we're gonna go to a Target. So that Walmart we went to on Wednesday did seem to have reset, restocked some things. Uh, I probably missed some stuff, that's all right. Uh, but what I am interested in is to see if the Target has reset, like a different Target we went to recently, and if this other Walmart is also reset, uh, and can we find Secret of the Use Powered Down Shredder? That's what we're hunting for. It's what I'd like to pick up. Uh, and to see what else we see along the way. We did see some new Black Series, some G.I. Joe, so that's good. Um, I think the, the reset is happening uh, at back to school time, which is probably the final one before like the Christmas reset. So whatever we see get put out now is probably what we're gonna have for the next couple months. So I'm gonna try to see it early. Um, and see how that goes. First, I am, I'm at a Starbucks. I'm gonna swing in here. I'm gonna get a uh, egg white and turkey bacon breakfast sandwich and a nitro cold brew. Uh, it's still pretty early. It is 7.55 in the morning. Um, I woke up about 5.30, walked Rufus, did some weights, and uh, did a little bit of work, and then hit the road, did my first hunt video, and now I'm doing my second hunt video. Trying to knock this stuff out in the morning. Uh, like I've said, it's been pretty challenging to get all this content filmed, honestly, because work's been very, very, very hectic. Trying to stay good on the workouts. We were training to get ready for the race. Having a family, and Kai's back to school. She's got events, birthday season, all that stuff. So that's not to complain. It's just, I gotta do it in the morning and sometimes film it back to back. So I hope you're all right with that. Uh, as you're watching this, Sunday's episode of Dub Life will kind of be built around our trip to do the Rugged Maniac Race. You'll see a lot of footage from that. Also, uh, we went and celebrated my father's birthday. Uh, so you'll see some footage from that as well. And uh, I don't know that we did it much with toys in that episode. That was just a lifestyle vlog. Uh, then for us, this weekend uh, is the Dragon Ball Super movie. We're excited for that. A Victoria's maybe going to come visit. We did check in with her puppy Rose last week. Um, maybe she, she's planning to come visit, bring Rose. We just have to see how she and Rufus uh, do together. Rufus is great, but he's just uh, way bigger than her. We don't want her to get hurt. Uh, and then I don't know what else. No, I have a few toys to open, which I think I showed you. I will show you in Dub Life and not many. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what all Dub Life's going to be uh, in the coming weeks, but we're going to find out together. I know it's going to be the Dragon Ball Super movie in a couple weeks, but let me go get my Starbucks, and uh, then we'll go from there. Probably go to Target first. Oh, no froth, no foam, just nitro cold brew. Woo, yeah, that's what I need. Dragging a little bit this morning. Been up for a while. Dragging a little bit, so just need a little, whoo, a little kick, yeah. And then I got the turkey bacon egg white sandwich. Pretty good, like 230 calories, I think. That's a good little breakfast option. Not cheap, like five bucks, or whatever. Not that Starbucks is cheap, but, you know. Is what it is, is what it is. To Target we go. Here at Mall of Georgia Target. Mall of Georgia Target. And uh, see what they have. I'm trying to think where that Target was that Natalie and I went into. Oh no, it was just me when they were doing all the inventory the other day. And they had a bunch of new stuff. So that's been five days ago, six days ago. So hopefully they got new stuff here. I enjoyed my turkey bacon sandwich. Had to take a work call, early morning work call. And uh, now we're gonna go to Target. 
and the hunt continues. Can't find Shredder here though. We're just gonna live dangerously and start. The ring fit at the NECA Funko section, Big Mario. Let's see. Redeemer, Demolition Gremlins. Gremlin bus stop, what Gremlin is that? The Witcher Elvis on tour. This little area here is just random stuff. Kojita 2 pack, Mon, Geralt in the bath, not in the bath, but Geralt. I want that Loki backpack to get cheap. I go clearance like they used to do at Target pretty frequently so I can get it for Kai. All the ladies have birthdays coming up very soon. I don't know what that is. Puppet Master, Freddy vs. Jason. I mean, this is a, even have the little dividers. See the little dividers there? It's kind of a well-stocked. Oh, there's Wolverine hanging out over here. Hellraiser Gremlins, a lot of the same stuff over and over again. I don't think there's any of this that we need though. Does this target look like it's been reset? I don't know, actually. Metroid Dread, I need to finish Metroid Dread. I need to finish it. Magnetic putty, I look like a doo-doo. Let's go over here to the Star Wars, a little Disney area that's got, gonna have copyright music, let's see. Uh, it's all Mickey Mouse. No, don't. Buzz Lightyear over there. Oh, here we go. Tuscan Raider. All this. Is this exclusive here? This Jawa that there's a million of. Obi Wan Kenobi Vader. I don't think I've seen that before. It looks pretty pretty much like all the other Black Series of Vaders. Nothing else here. Ah, rabbit. I'm trying to think what is exclusive to Target that's newly out. Oh, there's a card of toys. There's a card of toys. That's always good. Harry Potter, Horned Tailed Dragon, a Chrysalis Alien, Slinky Dog. Is this stuff clearance or is it just here? I think it's just here. What is that? Powered up Goku. Super Saiyan Goku. Is there anything on this Lego aisle? The Walmart we were at before had some new stuff, but none of that really looks new. No reason to go down there. All right, so we've got, oh yeah, there's some new stuff down there. Wait, what's here? Alien, Yoda, The Thing, Puppet Master, Holothon bag, T-Rex, Fortnite, so none of those are anything we're looking for, but maybe good things have been put out. I don't remember the figures being opposite Lego like this. I think that's moved. The EV and that Pikachu is a cool mega constructs. So we do have the new uh, Mr. T. We saw that last time during inventory, but it was hard to take a good. Oh no, oh, 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 Calamity Ganon. But again, and Hogan, I've lost the belt, I've lost it. Hogan down there, two Hogan, three Hogan, and five, Mr. T. That belt just wants to fall. Stop it. Crazy eyes, Hogan. Mr. T. You know, I abandoned Ultimates. But it's all right. Oh, this flare, I think it's the first time I've seen this. And the soft goods, four horsemen, WCW, like the the end days of WCW. Scarlet just came back. Just came back after being fired for years. Karrion Cross in this as well. So series 92. Oh, that's the Burnt Fiend. I mean, I don't know who wants that figure, but it looks cool. Uh, Black Shorts Luger. Black Shorts Luger. Black Shorts Luger. Black shorts Luger. I don't remember what the Chase Luger is. White shorts, maybe? Black shorts Luger. All these Lugers. They're all black shorts. <laughs> A million black shorts Luger. Stacy. So, I don't know. I think the Chase is maybe... I don't know. Is it white shorts? 
I don't remember, but that's so he can wear his wolf pack. I know some of you have already told me what it is, and I still don't remember. Red shorts? No. Blue shorts? Here's the T-Rex. Hammond Collection T-Rex. That really does look nice. Let me zoom in here. That eye. Even with the camera, it looks like it follows it, doesn't it? Oh, my tummy. That's kind of cool. Beastman, Gallimimus. Oh, Alan Grant. I don't think I, I've only seen a Hammond, I think, of those. Or not Hammond, but uh, Ian Malcolm. Protosaur. So that stuff's starting to get stocked really well. Nothing new on Moe 2. AEW. Is there any chase up here? Oh, Brody. And Brody's been out a long time. I've found that many, many, many a time. Charlotte Flair. All right, let's go to the next aisle. Orange shorts. Orange shorts is the chase. Lex Luger. There's these squadron things. Somebody told me one of the ones I saw the other day. A TIE fighter, maybe, was like a really expensive one. A chase. Um, I don't know anything about these. I think they look kind of cool. TIE advanced. Those are all X-wings. It's down there. The Millennium Falcon. I can see people getting into that. It's not going to be me. All my Star Wars buddies, I can see definitely getting into those ships. Because you want to have ships for Star Wars, but at what scale? I think that's why the three and three quarter always gains popularity at times. Because of the scale, you can have the ships. And you want the ships in Star Wars. The weird NECA section here. That's less than it used to be. We nut and screw loop. Red King. Oh. I don't think I've seen this two pack. That's actually a pretty cool two pack with all the lightning effects on the hammers. Big Magic Johnson. Uh, don't need any of that. Cards. Pokemon over there. Is that new Pokemon? I don't believe so. Nothing we need that where are the that's all baseball what's that ufc yeah where are the marvel legends nope that's this is nerf maybe i walked past that just a second ago probably so that's kind of cool wish i have had more of that kind of stuff when i was a little one. Oh, there's this guy first time seeing this big boy Motormaster. Seems to have a lot of issues with it. Something wrong with a, a piece on it or it's missing some pieces. Superman. That's a nice figure. And Martian Manhunter. Uh, Joe's? No. Just reaction. Just reaction. Galen Urso. Oh, Galen Urso. So then we've got Mbaku. Now that's a good one because that was a Build-A-Figure. So that's a nice one to be in the re-release. Uh, update is at Nakia. I mean, those look good. Oh, Sabretooth. Bone break a wave. And that Wolverine was over there in the NECA section. So about half that wave. About half that wave. All right, time to dip. Is that M'Baku exclusive to Target? I feel like I've heard that it is. I don't know. I mean, we have that exact figure. Well, I don't know if it's exact. Maybe they've done some different deck up. We have it. Uh, that's a good one, though. That's a good one. But I don't know where it's exclusive to. How do you all feel about that Legacy Collection? That's, in essence, just a full wave of re-release, which I think part of it is probably because they don't want to show too much to the toy companies for Black Panther because that's a, a movie that just the nature of who the actors are playing could spoil the whole movie with you know, obviously the real life circumstances surrounding it. So I understand. Uh, whereas if Chad Bozeman hadn't passed away, I think this wave would probably look different because maybe they would have some actually things from the movie because the movie would be different. So I get it. There's an element of they can't reveal really anything from the movie. I think we're going to see very minimal. We've seen like a tiny teaser. I think we're going to see very minimal footage from that movie before the movie comes out. Because the, the 
the big plot is who is Black Panther, right? And they could give that away really easily if they have a fill-in-the-blank character as Black Panther as a toy. So hopefully that's why they're doing the legacy because they seem to be doing the legacy uh, Black Panther even with a hot toy. That just seems to be what they're doing with this movie. So I don't know. But I do think for Legends collectors, at least a little bit of concern is merited that in essence a full wave is re-release you know with some updates and whatever an entire wave that's pretty different than re-releasing as a retro carded figure or updating it and putting it in a new wave with a couple new accessories just a full re-release uh, especially a, a lot of those figures were relatively easy to get um not the greatest right it's one thing that bucks get reused over and over again and repainted to become new characters or whatever but a whole wave of re-release although i've seen them a couple times and it does look like people are picking them up so maybe those figures the first time there weren't enough of i mean i never had any trouble finding them other than like there's the episode gosh that's got to be like dub life episode three or four where we're looking for that i guess it's the umbaku wave I don't remember if the M'Baku wave was the first... No, there's the Okoye wave was the first wave of Black Panther. And we're looking for that with Steve and David. And we're like at Walmart all night long to like 5 in the morning. That's a very, very, very early episode of Dub Life. Um, so we did have some trouble finding it then. And the Kingpin wave, we were looking for it at the same time. So I don't know. Um, but I would just have a little bit of concern if I was a Legends collector that... They're going to do that because I'm a completist. And so it's like, well, crap. Now you've re released an entire wave of stuff and I don't need any of it, but I feel like I have to buy it because I'm a completist. Uh, and that's my own issue, right? So I'm glad I don't collect legends outside of what Kaya wants. Uh, but I'm interested. I'm interested in your thoughts on that legacy collection. Are you excited for it? Are you glad it's coming out? I know that that's what all toy companies do. They're going to re repaint, re-release, repaint, re-release. But these are very minor updates and it's a whole wave so no new tooling no new sculpting no new nothing had to happen for them to make that wave and again maybe it's tied to the movie but is this going to become the star wars archive series or whatever it's called where they're going to start going back and re-releasing stuff people are excited for the star wars archive series and it's because people are joining this hobby every month every day there's new people and they don't want to go back and buy stuff for 200 dollars on ebay i get it I understand. I also understand the people that are like, oh, you just devalued my collection, but you all, you all know my opinion on that. This is not where you should be investing your money. Um, so, I mean, but I understand when well, my figure was worth 200 now it's worth 20 because you announced the new Terax. Well, I mean, was it ever really worth 200 It was worth 200 if you sell it and you get it. But its actual worth to the world is not even 20 bucks, right? It's just a piece of plastic. So uh, I understand both sides of that, but the companies are going to keep doing it. But I think this, a full wave of re-release, is just a little bit different behavior. And maybe it's just tied to the movie. Anyway, I've pontificated too long. Let the hunt continue. Let's go find Shredder at Walmart. What a fool believes, just blaring Walmart. We're looking for Shredder. Secret of the Use, power down Shredder. After my pontification about Marvel Legends. I don't know where that came from. Uh, I'm interested in your thoughts on where you want to see this channel go next year. When we're done with Beat Up Fit. And I'm going to tell you. Come January, I'm not going to be going to six to eight Walmarts and Targets every single week. That ain't happening. I might go sometimes, but not as often as I am right now. Because it's just not something I need to do. Um, I need to do it now because it's part of this, part of helping you. And that's a commitment that I made. And I'm going to keep it. Uh, but, you know, there's really not much I buy for me or for the girls even in a Walmart or a Target. It's only when they have NECA Turtle exclusives that weren't available online. Basically, yeah. Because anything G.I. Joe I'm able to get. I guess Target has G.I. Joe exclusives, but most everything I'm able to pre-order now. Oh, I do need to look for frames on here. I need 11 by 17 frames. Uh, so, you know, Monday Motivations. I don't know if those will continue after after this year. Dub Life. I don't know what... I don't know. We're almost at 200 episodes of Dub Life. So I don't know what's going to happen. I've been doing this a long time now. I think I've been doing Dub Life almost... Over four years. 
Do we have 11 by 17? No, again, 12 by 18 that we needed before. No, no 11 by 17. I guess you're only gonna get one something like that at a time. We'll talk more about the future of the channel and pending episodes. It looks like they're in the middle of the reset at this Walmart. Look at all those Mattel toys. Doesn't really tell you what they are, does it? Pallets. Let's see if there's any clearances right here. Does it look like there's any toys down there? Uh, oh, there's Marvel Legends. It's Eternals. How much? $17. I mean, come on. Ain't nobody buying that. The things were $4 at Target. That's ridiculous. I mean, that's... Those are just still going to sit here. That's crazy. I'm going to scan them with the Walmart app and see what it comes up as. Rings up is $14 in the app, and it says prices may vary online, in the app, and in the store. Yeah, you right. Let's look at these pallets. That's like outdoor toys, chalk. It could be Hasbro in here. Adventure Force. Man, that speaker is wow. Uh -uh. Hey, though, rub it now. Feel it. Let's say broth. Sloth in my broth. So they're definitely in the middle of this change because this used to be where like Marvel Legends would be. But oh, hey. Oh. Stu Grayson, Becky Lynch, Bob, I don't know that's here. Carmella. Looks like they're just very much in the middle of this. A plane is kind of a neat toy. Jitsu. I don't even know how to show you. I mean, this is just kind of all hodgepodge. Just, <laughs> just all stacked up. Just random, like no rhyme or reason. I think it's just all moved and it's going to be moved back at some point. That's what it looks like. I mean, I mean, look at this section right here. Halo, Star Wars, Mass Universe, Batman <laughs> on four pegs and Pokemon. Five pegs beside each other. That's interesting. Got the gas. And you look here, I guess that is all of the action figures right there. That was all of it. Huh. Because this is not Lego and Hot Wheels. So maybe they're uh, shrinking down their section here. Dom Chevy. Let's go see if they have a shredder. Yeah, I mean, everywhere you go in this Walmart, it looks like this. So they're, I mean, that's those toys. They are actively, actively in the middle of. Oh, so all those pallets of toys that we saw at other Walmarts, look, they're all here. Like this is toys, Spin Master. Yeah, they're all here. Here's all the five pallets of toys again. Look at all this. Minecraft, Hot Wheels cars, Buffalo, I don't know what that is. Look at all of this. Look at that. Huh. This whole aisle is toys. So they're just right in the middle of it. Right in the middle of it. Anything in there we need? Small dolls, Rainbow High. There's the Black Panther uh, Marvel Legends right there. Can't get to those. At the back of this. Look how far that goes. Let's see if there's anything here that I can easily access that I need, but I don't think so. There's nothing I need anyway. I don't think a shredder is gonna be in here. I haven't got that far yet where a shredder would be. That's a lot of stuff though. Big Magic Johnson. So a shredder here. That's just a lot of random stuff back here. No shredder though. All right, final stop. Will we get lucky with shredder? Let's see. What is the water knock? Frozen. Gilgamesh, Defender Strange. Captain Boomerang, that's been out forever. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in this section. If you're Eagle Eye and you've already seen Shredder, I don't know that I've seen him. Black Adam. Claire with Flair. There's a foot soldier. Khan, a bunch of these grapnels. I mean, that stuff just had to have been out, been put out relatively recently, right? 
I don't see any turtles, NECA turtles. It's a lot of stuff. There's this. So I saw the Raphael at the last Walmart, last episode. Here's the Leonardo. I think this packaging looks great. That, not great. I don't know why I've bought various things of that I shouldn't have. Because it's not like I care about the end package of that. I mean, there, I don't. I don't see NECA turtles at all here. King Kong. It's over here, a bunch of pops. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of pops. Tower of Pops, Green Goblin. Goes in the dark Walmart. No. Is there anywhere else? Arcade one up. Nope. No. Suck it. I did not notice this walking in, but they have converted this at least halfway to all these. That's new since last I was here. Oh, and more. So it's just like the other Walmart are going. It looks like there's just four employee lanes and everything else is self-service. So definitely a lot going on at that Walmart. A lot. So I'd imagine the next few days, full revamp of the toy section and whatever. Uh, makes me glad I don't work in that arena anymore in my life or just that type of thing which i know a lot of you do i appreciate everybody giving me the heads up that was inventory i saw at target last friday uh i should have known that i guess but it so i thank you everybody letting me know and and now that i think about it it's probably yeah we're in almost midway through august so halfway through quarter three approaching quarter four the most important quarter for holidays or for shop, retail stores for holidays so this probably is the big reset to get ready for holiday season. You know, kicking off with Halloween and all of that. Oh, type of situation. Um, so I guess it is what it is, right? That's that's the way it works. Uh, is the, this is the time of year to get it reset for holidays and uh, Christmas and everything else. I guess that's what I'm saying. I don't know. It's interesting to see. It uh, doesn't lead to me buying anything. I couldn't find Shredder, but it is interesting to see. So let me know. Has the Secret of the Ooze two packs or the Shredder hit your Walmart yet? Or what are you hunting for? And what would you like to see happen with the future of the channel? I don't know. Do you want the long vlogs? Do you want? I'm not going to keep going to Walmart and Target over and over and over again 42 times a week. That won't happen in January. That is for B Dub Fit. Uh, so, got to see. And eventually, I'm going to hand this thing over to Kaya. Uh, I actually gave her, uh, yesterday the DJI Osmo pocket, the thing that Seth films with, have you ever seen his videos, the little tiny handheld thing he films with, um, I filmed with that for a couple weeks. Uh, it's great. It shoots great. It's easy. Uh, I just, my phone shoots 4k 60. There's, I, I don't have a reason to use that thing. Um, I understand why Seth uses it cause it helps stabilize his hands. He has some shake hands, uh, you know, some, some things. Uh, so I had it, it's, you know, it's not a cheap item, uh, but I'm going to let her have that. And as we get ready for Dragon Con, maybe she can film finally, uh, another, uh, her own vlog, um, at Dragon Con using that device. We're going to see. Um, and speaking of, we have Dragon Con coming up as you're watching this uh, a couple weeks away, Labor Day weekend. And then we're going to Joe Lanta the weekend after that, September 9th through 11th for Joe Lanta. So come check us out there, but I got to go home, get to work. I will talk to you soon. Squeeze it.